why is Susan Collins running again? Well, that's easy. She get her ass handed to her in the, in the main uh, uh, governor's race. But other than that, why did she run before? What does Susan Collins, John McCain, Paul Ryan for that matter, Mitch McConnell for that matter, what do they stand for? What do they stand for? Because I've heard constantly that Donald Trump is not a Republican. He's not a Republican. He's not a conservative. He no way is he a Republican. Fine. What is a Republican? Can someone please define what Republicanism means by pointing to those who we have in office? We know they didn't run to repeal Obamacare. They didn't do that. We know they didn't run to repeal, to, to lower the tax rate. Corker's in there too. Uh, to, to, uh, to, to tax reform. Now, they promised they, did, they would do tax reform, but they haven't done it, and they're not going to do it. I don't believe they are. What did Lindsey Graham run for? This should not be a hard question. You should be able to say, oh, I know exactly why Lindsey Graham run. A, B, C, and D. I, I don't see any comments that say, hey, I know what he ran on, ran for. Compare that to Donald J. Trump. What did Donald Trump run on? Oh. NAFTA, getting rid of NAFTA, getting rid of TPP, getting a border wall, securing our border, actually deporting immigrants who are here illegally, deporting those who have, uh, have uh, overstayed their visas, building up domestic manufacturing, lowering taxes, removing regulations, helping our economy, becoming more assertive in, the, in uh, international affairs, not getting involved in endless wars, on and on and on and on. Very easy. Now, you might not know what TPP is. You might not even know what NAFTA is. Most of you do. But it doesn't matter. Most Americans know if you go up on the street to them and say, was Trump for or against TPP? A lot of them are going to say, hey, he was against it. Even if they have no idea what it is. But notice, you can't do that with Mitch McConnell. You can't do that with Lindsey Graham. Despite all the promises they made, they haven't done a damn thing. Nothing. So in that light, this was Steve Bannon earlier. Uh, I think it was uh, yesterday. Voters ...in his war against the Republican establishment. This is not my war. This is our war. And you all didn't start it. The establishment started it. But I will tell you one thing, you all are going to finish it. Oh my God, how objectionable. What a nut job. That was Steve Bannon. Oh no. Why is that so objectionable? Sorry, I was hearing myself in my earpiece. I thought it was still on. Why is that so objectionable? Is that any different than what I've said on my show, what you've heard Limbaugh say, what you've heard uh, Levin say, what you've heard a lot of people on their show say, and the ones who aren't saying it uh, are essentially ones you shouldn't be listening to, in my humble opinion, because I don't. That, why is that objectionable? Oh, you would have thought he, uh, he, he, he was going to come out and assassinate people. This is a war, and we did not start it. Folks, we, look, we sat at home... And we're all debating, is Donald Trump going to run? Is Donald Trump going to run? Many of us thought he wasn't. I didn't think he was going to run. I seriously didn't. Because in 2012, he said he was going to run. Then he didn't. And I got really mad at him in 2012. I was furious. He could have won in 2012 and saved the four years of that uh, Barack Obama, the golfer in chief, the empty suit in the White House. But he didn't. So I didn't think he was going to run. I'll admit it. I, we have recordings of my shows out there. I was in Tampa Bay at the time. I said, there's no way he's going to run. No way. But once he ran, what happened? The day he announced, what happened? Did all of us go out there and trash the establishment? No. No. I didn't say a mean thing about Mitch McConnell that day. I didn't say a mean thing about Marco Rubio that day. I didn't say a mean thing about Paul Ryan that day. We just liked our candidate. We supported Donald Trump. But the second he announced, they began attacking him. And notice that the attacks weren't on the issues. That if you think about the debates, the debates really weren't on NAFTA or foreign policy 
or TPP. No, they're on, is Trump a racist? Is Trump a sexist? Is Trump a Republican? They made him sign a pledge. Then they tried to take away delegates. Then they tried to prevent him from actually running in certain states because they thought he was going to be an uh, independent candidate. Then they tried to change the rules on him. Then they tried to, you know, gang up Cruz and uh, Kasich tried to gang up on him. They tried every damn thing to get him out of, to, to make sure he didn't get the nomination. Doesn't that sound like declaring a war to you? They never respected him. They never liked him. And they still don't. I don't care if he came out today and said, I like Mitch McConnell. He has to do that. And I'll tell you why later on in the show. It's called leverage. Leverage. But Steve Bannon, there's nothing wrong with what he said. Everyone who's a patriot and who uh, supports Trump believes in every single word of what Steve Bannon said. This is a war. It's been a war since the day Donald Trump announced his candidacy. I mean, it, I mean, I, I, it, it seriously, seriously has. I could, I could even announce more measures they tried to take to deny him the, the uh, nomination. They tried the best they could. To deny him a nomination. They never once considered, hey, maybe, hold, hold on, maybe he might be a good candidate. Nope, they never even considered it. And then you had Eric Erickson out there. Now, again, when I name people by name, I don't mean anything personal by it. I don't, I don't know Eric Erickson. I'm sure he's a great guy. He has a great family, I heard. He had children. He's a good, good Christian. Good for him. Same goes for Bill Crystal. I don't know if he's married, but uh, I, this is just a professional. Professional. Uh, Bill Crystal, Eric Erickson, they worked against him all the time. Every chance they got. Remember the uh, Red State uh, convention that they had? They, uh, Eric Erickson disinvited Donald Trump because of the hateful emails that he got from uh, Trump supporters? That's right. You get an email, five or six or seven Trump supporters, that means all of them are racist, all of them are bigots. All of them are, right, Eric Erickson? Why do you think ultimately he denied uh, Trump back during the red, the, uh, red State gathering? Why do you think he denied Donald Trump to come to Red State? To try to harm him. That's what it was all about, trying to harm him. We even had Glenn Beck out there saying, hey, Hillary Clinton is the moral choice. Don't believe me? Go to my YouTube page, youtube.com, use the Jim Lockwood Show. Look it up. Type in Glenn Beck, Jim Lockwood Show, and you'll get it. Made a video about it at the time. Yeah, Hillary Clinton being the moral choice? Are you out of your mind? This is how demented some people have gotten because of their anger, either because they don't like Trump, they like someone else, or they were just angry that their influence was somehow reduced, that they couldn't tell you who to vote for and you would go like drones, I'm going to go vote for Cruz, pull the lever, just because Glenn Beck told you to. Nothing against Cruz. But he wasn't who I wanted to become president. And thank God he didn't. I think Hillary Clinton would have killed him. Politically. Politically. Although she's more accident prone, maybe she would have fallen on him. She's more accident prone uh, than, you, than, uh, than anyone I've ever heard of who ran for office. Do you know that she broke her ankle the other day? <laughs> her book, this is on Fox News. Hillary Clinton's book tour cut short after, oh, excuse me, spraining her ankle. She didn't break it. After falling and spraining her ankle. What? What is wrong with this lady? Look, folks, I am blind. As I told you, I'm blind as a bat. I can't see my own nose in front of my face. Can't see anything. That's why a lot of times I do my broadcast and the damn lights are off. And people have to say, turn on your lights, blindy. And I have to turn on the light because it's pitch black in my office. By the way, I hope they're, um, I hope they're on right now. I haven't looked at the chat session yet, so maybe people are saying, hey, I can't see you. Um... But so I'm blind as a bat. And I don't injure myself as much as she does. Hell, I run into walls. I run into doors. I, I stumble downstairs. You know, I'm stumbling all over the place. <laughs> I've been twisted my ankle. Yeah, very healthy woman. Right. I just found that a tidbit interesting. So I'm going to get to uh, Susan Collins. Hello, I'm Susan Collins. We're going to get to her comments, and we're going to get to Lindsey Graham's comments, and we're going to get to uh, uh, John Kasich's comments. Uh, John Kasich might run in 2020, he believes. Oh, boy. Boy, they, there's a guy who loves getting an ass kicking. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. <sighs> Fantastic. Uh, we're going to get to all those stories. 
Uh, I especially want to get to Susan Collins and uh, Lindsey Graham Their resp- and Mitch McConnell. All the rhinos came out today. All of them did. And yesterday. As soon as Steve Bannon came out and attacked Republican GOP establishment figures, they all came out. They were all universally on one side of the equation. And that equation, on the side of the equation they were on, was not with you and me. It was not with Steve Bannon. You know, Steve Bannon is only as powerful, folks, as his message resonates. The only way Steve Bannon has any power is if what he says resonates with you and me. That's the only way he has power. He's not a powerful guy. None of the people who own the news sites are. Hell, not e- no, I'm not either. You even watch the show. I don't get any money. I don't do the show anymore. We depend on you. Dead serious. Same goes for Limbaugh and Levin. We are only powerful because of you. So Steve Bannon is popular because he's saying what we all believe. Jim Lockwood. I want to tell you about MyPillow.com. We have a three-minute commercial break. MyPillow.com has amazing products. They got uh, dog beds and mattresses and seat cushions all at 50% off by using promo code Lockwood, L-O-C-K-W-O-O-D. And you can get it off at 50% off by using that promo code. They're American-made products. You can put them in the washing machine. You have a 60-day money-back guarantee, all American-made. Uh, and you have a 10-year warranty. As one of our listeners uh, uh, called in and said one day, uh, a MyPillow dog bed will last longer than his marriage. Now, his marriage was uh, six years. You got a 10-year warranty on a MyPillow dog bed. 10-year warranty. That means in nine months and 11 days and 20, uh, 27, uh, nine, months, 11, no, nine years, 11 months and 27 days, if your dog bed gets all ripped up, then you send it into them. They'll give you a new one for free. For free. 10-year warranty. Go to MyPillow.com, American-made products. Use promo code LOCKWOOD for 50% off. Back in two minutes. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2833. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2833. 1-800-514-2833. Ah, crap, I have a computer problem. Hi, I'm Jim Lockwood. Jim Lockwood Show. Have you ever heard yourself say those words? I'm sure we all have. Well, when it comes to me, I never have to say those words ever again. And that's because of one company, Michiana IT Services. That's Michiana, as in Michigan and Indiana. M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A, ITServices.com. They offer computer assistance and consulting nationwide. Michiana IT Services can help you, whether you're an individual, large corporation, small business, sole proprietorship, whether it is setting up a network, hosting a website, designing a website, or simply learning how to use your computer. Michiana IT Services can help you with your computer problems. That's Michiana, M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A, ITServices.com. Michiana ITServices.com. Michiana ITServices.com. Problem solved. Jim is tweeting day and night. Follow him on Twitter at Jim Lockwood Show. Now that we're back and we made some cash, it's time for Jim to kick some ass. Call Jim now, toll free, 844-JIM-1776, 844-JIM-1776. That's 844-JIM-1776, 844-JIM-1776. You can call in if you wish to the uh, show. So uh, Steve Bannon is, of course, uh, a uh, pariah now because he said what we all believe and what we all actually agree with. 
And so all the, uh, you know, typical uh, rhinos out there came out of the woodwork like cockroaches, and they had to comment on it. Yes, they did. Let's see. Uh, where's, where's my uh, audio, audio thing? Oh, yes. Uh, here's uh, Susan Collins. Uh, this is a good one. Here's Susan Collins. If it plays. Joining this morning, you also announced this week that you're sticking around. You're going to stay in the Senate mm-hmm. rather than mm-hmm. run uh, for governor. And one of the reasons you said mm-hmm. is that you want to fight hyperpartisanship. You want some bipartisan right. solutions. Oh, uh, yeah. One of them right. is what Leader mm-hmm. Pelosi was just talking about, that bipartisan bill mm-hmm. in the Senate right mm-hmm. now to try to Susan Collins. what's wrong with Obamacare. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely right. By the way, I look for a, a broom. You're sticking around. I look for a broom. Sorry, it's otherwise playing again. I uh, look for a broom. Okay, it's not going to stop. I look for a broom to uh, to hold up when she's talking. I couldn't find one. You want to fight. All right. Well, I guess it's not going to stop for us. Bipartisan solutions. Mm-hmm. I take it one bipartisan of them is what Leader Pelosi was just talking mm-hmm. about, that bipartisan bill mm-hmm. in the Senate right now to try mm-hmm. to fix what's wrong with Obamacare. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't repeal it, would you? That's right. right. I'm a member of the mm-hmm. Senate Health Committee, uh-huh. which has been doing really important work yeah. to try mm-hmm. to stabilize the insurance market. Why premiums are so, uh, skyrocketing? Premiums go down, and mm-hmm. then people are going to have mm-hmm. access uh-huh. to health insurance. And that oh yeah, sure. Been led by the bipartisan leaders of Lamar Alexander and uh-huh. Patty Murray. Mm-hmm. And we've all had input. There were four great hearings. Mm-hmm. Great hearings. I hope we can proceed, but mm-hmm. Democrats are going to have to step up to the plate and mm-hmm. assist us. They're not going to. It's a two-way street. But how about the president? It doesn't seem to have the support of the president right now. Well, I'm very disappointed in the president's oh, actions mm-hmm. of this past week. Mm-hmm. The debate in Washington has mm-hmm. been whether or not to repeal the Affordable Care Act mm-hmm. in the future. What the president is doing is affecting people's access and the cost. So you love Obamacare. Right now. Just say it. And you love Obamacare. I don't agree with his decision on the subsidies uh-huh. that help mm-hmm. Low-income people afford. Their by the by the way, by the way, no, it doesn't. With his executive order. No, it actually doesn't. Num num nuts. No, it doesn't. Actually, his executive order. What it does. Uh, what his executive order does is enforce a court decision. A court decision. The federal courts have ruled. Not no, he didn't bring a lawsuit. The federal courts have ruled. Quote. This was from a district court. I think it was in Florida. I'll have to look at during the break. Quote. It is our determination during the, this was a challenge to Obamacare. Quote, it is our determination after examining the facts preve- presented by the, by the uh, parties in this case that the Congress, the United States Congress, never appropriated requisite funds to fund the health care subsidies for the health care offset. It's a big, long name. Essentially what Donald Trump said he was not going to allocate money towards anymore. The courts have ruled, folks. The court said there's no money for this. Congress didn't allocate money for the subsidy to hand out to insurance companies. Susan Collins doesn't care. Just make sure and keep funding it. How about you pass a law? If you love Obamacare so much, Susan Collins, and you refuse to repeal it, how about you pass a law providing the money for it? (laughs) Is that too much to ask? Evidently it is. Way too much to ask. Oh, but uh, Collins is, was uh, not done, of course. So she had more there. to say. Here we go. I'm very disappointed in the president's actions. Oh, we don't have uh, her comments on Susan Co- on uh, D. Bannon. Well, this is okay. This is what she said. Quote, I, ain't, I, I do a better voice uh, than she does. I believe that Steve Bannon's comments were very unproductive. Of course he had the right to, to say what he wants and who he supports. But that kind of rhetoric that you heard in the beginning of the show where he said we're declaring war in the uh, GOP establishment. That kind of rhetoric is what the American people have rejected. It's hyperpartisanship. No. (laughs) No, it's not. In fact, it's not partisanship at all. Partisanship would be I'm going to vote for any Republican out there. That's partisanship. It's actually the opposite of partisanship. To be Republican in voting against your own. You know what we call that, Susan Collins? What's that? We call that independent thought. That's what we call it. Independent thought. I know you've never had an independent thought. 
uh, for the last 35 years, and you wrinkled a prune of her brain. But that's what it's called, independent thought. You should try it once in a while. We'll get to Graham later on. But why is Susan Collins, uh, in, in the beginning of the uh, interview, she said, uh, I'm running because I want to make sure we pass my partisan bills. Really? No. You're running again for two reasons, Susan Collins. Two reasons and two reasons only. Number one, your wrinkled prune of an ass would get handed a, a, a defeat in Maine if you ran for governor. She was uh, considering running for Maine governor. You would be destroyed in an instant. In an instant. And number two, you, you believe you can make a name for yourself by attacking our president. That's why. That's why she's running. Those are the only two reasons why she is running again as a main senator. That's it. That's it. And shame on her. Shame on her. She, she campaigned. In fact, you know, the uh, as we've talked about before, the GOP establishment voted 54 times, 54 times during the Obama administration to repeal Obamacare. Do you know how many times Susan Collins, Susan Collins, how many times she voted in favor of that measure? In favor of her measure to repeal Obamacare? A total of, ready for the number? Drum roll, please. 54 times. She voted, fi- I got to tighten my mic up. 54 times. She voted every single time to repeal Obamacare. Except, of course, a month ago when it actually mattered. When it actually mattered? No. She wasn't interested in repealing Obamacare. She was fine in continuing to be exempt from Obamacare herself while collecting all the benefits like her cancer victim over there, John McCain. Not making fun of you, John, but you're just a hypocrite. And as we're all supposed to do, thank you for your service, John, to our country as a military veteran. But as a senator, you're not too good. Sorry, that's just a fact. I'll be back with more reaction to uh, Steve uh, Bannon. You can call in 844-JIM-1776. I'll be back. I want to tell you about StealthFurniture.com. StealthFurniture.com has American-made products. Uh, yeah, all, all American-made. Um, but they have a furniture that has uh, lock boxes. In fact, I forgot to get my gun out. They have uh, lock boxes within furniture. So you can keep your guns or your bullets. No bullets in there right now. I don't want to shoot myself in the air, despite how many views it would garner. Uh, you can keep your guns, your gold, your jewelry, your money, your valuables, whatever you hold valuable, your pictures. So if someone steal, uh, you know, breaks into your house, they cannot steal everything you have. They're never going to look in these hidden compartments. It's really cool stuff. They're embedded within furniture, and the furniture looks pretty cool too. You can go to StealthFurniture.com and check it out and use promo code LOCKWOOD. That benefits me and Jeremy Hansen. It benefits both our shows. Promo code LOCKWOOD. For five percent off, they're a Christian-owned business right here in Indiana, and boy, are they under attack by liberals. Promo code lock with StealthFurniture.com. What was your cable TV bill last month? Do you remember what you paid ten years ago? Have you noticed the price of movie tickets lately? Are you seeing a pattern here? The cost of our basic information and entertainment needs keeps going up, but there is one medium that is still free, and you're listening to it: local radio. Support the advertisers that support this radio station and keep listening. We won't send you a bill. There are still some things you just shouldn't have to pay for. 25,000 mornings, give or take, is all we humans get. We spend them on treadmills, we spend them in traffic, and if we get lucky, really lucky, it dawns on us to go spend them in a world where a simple sunrise can still be magic. 25,000 mornings. Make sure some of them are pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. Attention smokers, would you like to free yourself from the mess and high cost of nasty, smelly cigarettes? Would you like to be free to enjoy the nicotine you love wherever and whenever you want? And would you like to do it for free? Now you can, thanks to Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette. Because right now, you can get a Victor starter kit, a $99 value, for free, for your free kit. Call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-572-9836. 
The revolutionary Victor design creates only harmless water vapor, so you're free to enjoy the nicotine you love wherever and whenever you want. Free from nasty smell, free from unhealthy tar, free from the ridiculously high cost of cigarettes. In fact, with Victor, you can save hundreds of dollars a month. Get started now with your free Victor starter kit. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call in the next 10 minutes. 1-800-572-9836. 1-800-572-9836. 1-800-572-9836. Like what you've heard so far? Learn, Learn more about Jim by going to his website, jimlockwoodshow.com. This is the Jim Lockwood Show, where our only political affiliation is to the Constitution. Call now. Hey, let's see here. This is number uh, Lindsey Graham, number four. If this works, hopefully it does. Number Graham. Hello, Lindsey Graham. This is play. There's yeah. the question of the dreamers. There's now mm, this health care. Mm, there's, right. there's Iran. You've right, got to get a budget right. passed in order to set <laughs> up tax right. reform. Are you right. going to get tax right, reform Lindsay. done? Uh, yeah, if we don't, we're mm-hmm. dead. It's, you're going to ask me about Bannon. Listen to so this. Going to ask Listen myself. to this. See Bannon, the well, yeah, so what's advisor. going on? Uh, it's a symptom of a greater problem. If we don't cut taxes and we don't eventually mm-hmm. repeal and replace Obamacare, mm-hmm. then we're going to lose across the board in the House in 2018. And all of my colleagues running in primaries in 2018 will probably get beat. It will be the end of Mitch McConnell as we know it. So this is a symptom of a greater problem. If we do cut taxes and More we about do that repeal in a moment. and replace Obamacare, it doesn't matter what Bannon do because we'll win. But see, Bannon has said what that Bannon Republicans does, should you mean, go it's to called war English. against Mitch McConnell, that all y'all should do, get rid of him. Mm-hmm. And that that should be the Republican rallying. Cry. Mitch you McConnell's should. not our problem. Our really? problem is that we promised to repeal and replace Obamacare, and we and failed. And you didn't do we it. We promised to cut taxes, and we've yet to. And do you it. didn't do if it. If we're successful, Mitch McConnell's fine. If we're not, what? we're all in trouble. What? We lose our majority, and I think President uh, Trump will not get reelected. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, yeah, right. That's right. Donald Trump's uh, presidency depends on you, Lindsey. Look, folks, if his presidency depends on Lindsey Graham, he might as well cock the gun now and blow his head away politically because that's ridiculous. Donald Trump is going to run in 2020. He, I mean, not only run, but win. He's going to win in 2020. Who's, who's going to run against him? What, Pocahontas? Are you kidding me? That uh, shrieking bag? Are you serious? The fake Indian, yeah, right. Uh, what Joe Biden is he going to uh, have one foot in the grave and and with the blumbering uh, uh, buffoonish comment that he always makes? Now I told you who I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be Mark Zuckerberg. And I think uh, Donald Trump's comment or the nickname he'll have. By the way, share the video on uh, Facebook. Share, 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 share. Um, I don't tell people to do that enough. Uh, Chris X is uh, great at that. But uh, share the video to all the pages you can, if you a personal page, whatever. I appreciate it. I really, really do. And I'm reading all your comments that you uh, make. But, I mean, who, who's the Democrats going to run? Uh, Joe Biden? He'll be half dead. He's older than dirt. You, you got to have a person to run. So I think it's going to be Mark Zuckerberg. That's who I think the Democrats are going to run. And I think the, Dem- the uh, Donald Trump's uh, nickname for him is going to be Boy. No, he's not black. No, it's not a racist comment. But because he's a, he'll be 36 years old and he's a quote-unquote businessman. And Donald Trump's over there 72 years old at the time or 71 years old, however old he'll be. And he's going to be sitting there looking at Zuckerberg saying, listen, boy, I'm going to teach you something about business. That's what I think Donald Trump's going to do. And that's, that's who I think is going to be the uh, Democratic nominee. He'll at least run. I don't know if he'll make the nomination, but he'll at least run. And no, I don't think Hillary is going to run anymore. I I don't think the uh, Democratic Party would accept her as a uh, candidate because they're so disgusted with her. They're not, you know, they're not alone. But notice what Lindsey Graham said in the very, very beginning of that clip. Why must we repeal Obamacare? Why must we lower taxes? Why must we do the things that we promised to do? Why? Why? There's yeah. the question of the dreamers. There's now this health care. There's, right. uh, there's yeah, Iran. It again. You've got to get a budget passed <laughs> in order to set up tax reform. Are you right. going to get tax reform done? Uh, yeah, if we don't, we're dead. It's, you're going to ask me about Bannon, so I'll just go ahead and ask myself. See, well, Bannon, the president's yeah, so what's advisor. going on? 
Uh, it's a symptom of a greater problem. If we don't cut taxes and we don't eventually repeal and replace Obamacare, then we're going to lose across the board in the House in 2018. And all of my right colleagues there. running in primaries in 2018 are probably that, That's beat, all that we'll matters to them. It's winning. That's it. That the, right there is the problem with the Republican Party. Right there. You want to talk about uh, hyperpartisanship? That right there is the problem. You notice he didn't say, uh, we got to make sure we lower taxes because we promised people we'd do that. We got to make sure we lower regulation because we promised people we'd do that. We got to make sure we repeal Obamacare because, God, I really believe in that. That's one of my firm beliefs. That's why I ran again. You know, if your sole reason for voting a certain way, the way you promised, is just because, uh, just so you can keep a, high, a higher chance of uh, maintaining your job, I, I don't find that very admirable. Do you? It should be, I'm going to vote, we got to repeal Obamacare because we promised the voters we would, because Obamacare is a disaster, because we tried for the last seven and a half years, and now we have a chance to do it. That should be the reason. Not, we're going to be dead if we don't vote until we fail Obamacare. That shows you they only care about one thing. One thing, and one thing only. And that is keeping their jobs. That's it. It's not about principle. It's not about beliefs. It's not about the actual uh, a dedication to any philosophy. You know, they always criticize, as I said earlier, Donald Trump, he has no philosophy. He's not a Republican. Well, neither is Lindsey Graham. In fact, Donald Trump has been more consistent, as we pointed out over the last uh, you know, several uh, months. He's been more consistent in his beliefs, in his statements, than any of these buffoons have ever been. Despite the fact that they're allegedly making promises to the voters. They have denied us the ability to vote in a legitimate way. That is, vote for the policies we want. When a politician goes up for election and lies to you, they're not only lying to you, which is bad enough. They're disrespecting you. They're disrespecting your right to vote. You want to tell me, Democrats and Republicans, about the danger of voter IDs? It ruins the right to vote. It disenfranchises people. So do politicians who come up every election, who are supported by the GOP establishment with tens of millions of dollars in order to bankrupt other people. We brought on uh, Bobby Lawrence on the show before. We're going to have him on again. He's running in Pennsylvania. He's getting spent out of the, washed out with money against him. We can't have a sod buster like that in office. No, we got to have a Republican GOP establishment rhino type. That's who they want. When they go in and they try to bankroll us, try to swamp us with money, try to buy our vote, that disrespects our right to vote. That makes us vote, our, 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 our action of voting essentially meaningless. Meaningless. I'll give you an example. Roy Moore. Roy Moore. He was he uh, spent two point one five million dollars in Alabama. That's a lot of money. Seems like yeah, a lot of money. Huh. However, when you look at how much money was spent against him, three point two eight nine million dollars. They spent him ten to one. Actually, more than ten to one. Thirty two to to two million. Almost almost ten to one. Eleven to one almost. Ten and a half to one. And we're supposed to sit here and say, well, you know what? They, we have a right to vote, and you, we got to vote, we vote the establishment guys. That's what Mitch McConnell said today. You got to vote the establishment people. And why? Because they have more of a chance of winning. That's right. Did you have a chance during your lunch today to discuss the comments that Steve Bannon made this weekend? And what do you make of those comments? Republican Party. Come on, Mitch. Look, I, you know, the goal here is to win elections in November. Really? Back in 2010 and 2012. That's the goal. We nominated several candidates, mm -hmm. uh, Christine O'Donnell, mm -hmm. Sharon Angle, mm -hmm. Todd Agin, mm -hmm. Richard Murdoch. By the way, uh, by the way, every one of those people, every one of those people during the primaries, they eviscerated. The Democrats didn't even have to run any uh, opposition research. They went in and they destroyed Christine O'Donnell. They tried to make her the biggest stupid 
blonde-headed moron. I don't even know if she's blonde-headed, but they sure treated like treated her like she was a stereotypical blonde, a big stupid hussy. That's essentially what they tried to make her appear like, and they and they succeeded. Mr. Murdoch, who ran for the Senate. Same damn thing. They went after him and tried to make him appear the most evil person you could ever imagine. Consider what they did to Trump, folks. You know that dossier? The Trump dossier. That was started by the Jeb Bush campaign. The dossier that has allegations of sexual uh, sexual actions in, in Russia. And, oh, my God, he met with a prostitute in Russia. And, oh, my God, he had a sex party in Russia. None of it validated. None of it actually true. The Democrats didn't do that. The Dem- I expect that from Democrats. They didn't even have to. The Republicans did it. They had opposition research on Trump. They spent tens of millions of dollars gathering information, anything and everything to try to destroy that man. When we do that during a primary process, we not only uh, destroy people's uh, chances of winning in an illegitimate manner, not, not on the issues, but attacking them personally, attacking their family, attacking their looks, attacking how they sound, attacking how articulate they are or allegedly aren't, but we also hurt our chances in the primaries. That's why Christine O'Donnell didn't win. That's why Mr. Murdoch didn't win, dummy McConnell. They're not in the Senate. And the reason for that was that they were not able to appeal to a broader electorate. Yeah, because you destroyed them. Because you spent tens of millions of dollars against them. Roy Moore. Roy Moore, who just won in Alabama, thank God. They attacked his stance on the the, uh, Ten Commandments in in the courthouse. They attacked his wife. They attacked his personal life. They attacked his kids. Now, what does any of that have to do? His wife, his personal life, his kids, what does any of that have to do with whether he be a good senator or not? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, My my goal as the leader of the Republican Party in the Senate is to keep us in the majority. Mm -hmm. Uh, The way you do that is not complicated. You have to nominate people who can actually win. Because Wrong. You have to adhere to your promises, dummy. Then you give a reason for the voters to vote the people in. Because winners make policy and losers go home. Uh huh. We changed the business model in 2014. We nominated people who could win everywhere. We took the majority in the Senate. We had one skirmish in 2016. We kept the majority in the Senate. So our operating approach will be to support our incumbents and in open seats to seek to help nominate people who can actually win in November. That's what matters, Win. That's my approach. That's the, way you, that's the way you keep a governing majority. Mr. President, sir, Mr. President. That's all that matters. Winning. That's it. Why? I don't know. Just let's just win. Let's just win. You can't attack McConnell, Graham says. No, can't do, can't do that. It's divisive, Colin says. It's divisive to attack McConnell. No, it's logical. McConnell is the reason we have gotten nothing done. Folks, he's the leader. I'll give an example. I've told you before I was a, a Democrat. Well, I, I don't have enough time in this segment. But I'll just say uh, I was a Democrat in college. Not a, not a leftist nut job like all the others are nowadays. You can't have freedom of speech. What are you talking about? But I was a Democrat. I, I uh, voted for Obama the first time. A big, stupid mistake I've been paying for ever since. But I was a Democrat. I mean, I was unemployed. I didn't have a job, and I didn't pay taxes because I was a college student. Then I went to law school, and I learned about the Constitution, learned about case law. Thank God I went to Notre Dame. If I went to Harvard or Yale, one of the other law schools, they gave me offers uh, I'd probably be a uh, lib turd. I'll tell you about uh, why I brought that up when I return. I have a three-minute ad break. I'll be right back. Jim Lockwood. I want to tell you about uh, Amos Born Traeger. Amos Born Traeger, uh, he's a great guy. He had the business plan to help you make money every single month. You can contact Amos Born Traeger by going to globalamteam.com. That's globalamteam.com. 
or just go to jimlockwoodshow.com slash sponsor, jimlockwoodshow.com slash sponsor to learn more. If you need to make money, extra money every week, contact Amit Borntrager today. Amit Borntrager, a great guy and a great plan to help you have financial success. Amit Borntrager, globalamteam.com. Give him a call and hear what he has to say. Tell him that Jim Lockwood sent you. And if you don't like what he has to say, hit that big red button on your phone that says hang up. There's no obligation. Amit Borntrager, make sure you have a piece of the American dream today. And by the way, if you know a person who does graphic design for videos, Email me, Jim, at jimlockwoodshow.com. I'll be back in two minutes. Jim Lockwood Show. If you're overwhelmed by debt and thinking about going to a credit counseling company for help, think again, because the majority of those companies actually work for the credit card companies, and they make the credit card companies a lot of money from people just like you. But there's another way out of debt, and it's not bankruptcy, a way to reduce your debts and save you thousands of dollars. Even better, you can find out how for free by calling 1-800-509-1075. At Freedom Debt Relief, we're not a credit counseling organization. We're not a debt consolidation company. We offer a unique alternative to save you the most money possible to resolve your debt in the shortest amount of time. If you're thinking about a credit counselor, Ask yourself this, are they working for you or the credit card companies? Reduce your debts and save thousands of dollars by learning the secrets to settling your debt. For free information, call 1-800-509-1075. That's 1-800-509-1075. 1-800-509-1075. Attention smokers, would you like to free yourself from the mess and high cost of nasty, smelly cigarettes? Would you like to be free to enjoy the nicotine you love wherever and whenever you want? And would you like to do it for free? Now you can, thanks to Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette. Because right now, you can get a Victor starter kit, a $99 value, for free for your free kit. Call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-572-9836. The revolutionary Victor design creates only harmless water vapor, so you're free to enjoy the nicotine you love wherever and whenever you want. Free from nasty smell, free from unhealthy tar, free from the ridiculously high cost of cigarettes. In fact, with Victor, you can save hundreds of dollars a month. Get started now with your free Victor starter kit. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call in the next 10 minutes. 1-800-572-9836. 1-800-572-9836. 1-800-572-9836. Like what you've heard so far? Learn, learn more about Jim by going to his website, jimlockwoodshow.com. Gentlemen, welcome to the main event. The Jim Lockwood Show with your fighting host, Jim Lockwood. Let's get ready to rumble! In the right corner, we have the America loving constitutional conservative and unbeaten Jim Lockwood. On the wrong corner, we have the desperate anti American snowflake cartel. Good luck. By the way, the reason we are um, asking for anyone who knows of a person who does graphic design, you can tweet me at Jim Lockwood Show. And what I mean is um, take an audio and create images and transitions and all sorts of stuff uh, with it, essentially for the intro of the show. Uh, in the next week, hopefully by the uh, at least the end of next week, if not before, we're going to do a green screen, if I can pull it off. Uh, tougher when you're blind, believe me. Uh, and then we're going to uh, we're going to have a green screen in here. It's going to be a different setup, and it's going to be all video. Essentially, no more just me sitting here with audio. The clips might still be audio, but the transitions are going to be actually uh, video transitions, and it's going to look like essentially Fox News without Shepard Smith. Yeah, Shepard Smith. Uh, what what a, what a, what the he's a pimple on the rump of Fox News. Why is he on Fox News? He ought to give him a show on CNN. The two shows of Wolf Blitzer. Wolf Blitzer's at five and one. Why don't they give him one of those segments and get him the hell off Fox News? Give me Fox News uh, 3 p.m. I'll have a hell of a lot more listeners than a good old Shepard Smith. The Shepard News Desk. Yeah, uh-huh. It's the uh, anti-Trump hour. That's what it should be called. The anti-Trump hour with, with Shepard Smith. We're not going to have a bunch of TVs behind us as he has on his screen screen. I think that's distracting. I don't know. I don't like the look of it. Probably have our logo in the back. That probably have some sort of motion with it or something. 
I don't know. But uh, in any case, uh, 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. I'm just looking for someone who uh, can make an uh, animated uh, intro for the show with the uh, audio that we have. But I have a website I might find it on. Jeremy's trying to find uh, someone on the website to... Uh, there's a website you can hire help on. And in any case, uh, so that's what the purpose of the Republican Party is, winning elections. Ah, not, my, not what I say. It's what Mitch McConnell says. <laughs> what Mitch McConnell says. <laughs> what a day hole. <laughs> There's no purpose, no purpose in voting for the, the individual. There, there's no reason to vote for them. No reason at all. Look, folks, you have to give people a better reason to vote for you except for the fact that you got to get Republicans in office. Why? What is the purpose of getting Republicans in office? Except, of course, to try to prevent Donald Trump from getting impeached. That is the only reason, only reason, I can ever consider voting for Republicans. And I'm going to tell you something, folks. I don't care what the, what the mainstream media says about Bannon. I don't care what they say about Trump. I don't care what they, you know, they're all out there saying, well, well you know, Donald Trump loves McCain or McConnell. Really? Really? That's kind of interesting. Last week, Washington Post, quote, remember, Washington Post is loved by CNN, loved by NBC. So is Weinstein, by the way. Uh, they didn't want to report on Weinstein raping women. Hmm, Interesting. You know what? Maybe actually there should be a um, a civil rights investigation done into NBC and CNN for trying to hide the raping of women. Ooh, what an interesting case that would be. Now nah, the First Amendment, the First Amendment. No, it doesn't protect you hiding crimes. Sorry. Washington Post, back to the media loving the narrative now, pushing the narrative, push, 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 that Trump is friends with McConnell. By the way, the reason, I'll tell you why, the reason Trump came out and said, hey, I've, this man next to me, I, I, I have no problem with him, is because behind closed doors, he can go to McConnell and say, listen, you mumbling fool, I just kissed your ass in the media out there, now you go and you pass tax reform. That's why he did it. It's called leverage. Leverage. If you give him a treat, he should scratch your back too. Scratch my back, scratch your back. That's how it goes. He's a negotiator. Now, in, in two seconds, Donald Trump can change his mind. In fact, the media always accuse him of changing his mind. Remember that? The, 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 they always accuse Donald Trump of changing his mind. Always. Now you change your mind on this issue and that issue and North Korea and all these issues. But now when it comes to liking, quote unquote, you know, being OK with McC with a McConnell. Oh, he's never going to change his mind. He'll change his mind in two seconds. The second McConnell does not give him tax reform. McConnell's going to be thrown under the bus and rightfully so. But as I, as I was saying, the mainstream media's narrative is uh, that Trump loves McConnell. They're all fine. And ben, Steve Bannon, just a crazy nut job. Interesting. Two weeks ago, Washington Post, quote, mainstream media outlet. Numerous sources who wish to remain unnamed, of course, yeah, go figure, have reported that oftentimes they can hear outside the Oval Office with the doors closed, Donald Trump screaming into the telephone at someone they later identify as Mitch McConnell. Vulgarities are heard. The phone is often slammed down... <laughs> On the desk by Donald Trump after a very contemptuous conversation with Mitch McConnell. These sources cannot indicate an exact date at which such phone calls take place because such phone calls take place in such frequency. They say that oftentimes Donald Trump is every week he will call Mitch McConnell and the, and the discussion will end up in a screaming match. Oh, he loves McConnell. He loves McConnell, right? Uh-huh. He hates McConnell. Can't stand him. Look, the, the one thing about Donald Trump that you can be sure of uh, is that, uh, well, he cares about his image. He cares about his image more than money. More, he cares about what people think about him. That's a good thing. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Sometimes uh, people who are uh, essentially uh, not good for Donald Trump can flatter him and get favors from him. Case in point. Uh, Jared Kishner, Ivanka Trump. 
I, two, two people I really don't like. Jerry Kushner I especially don't like. I don't think he's good for Donald Trump. I think he's very bad. I think he's a, he's a weak link in this administration. But like it or not, Donald Trump likes him. Now, I'm sure he flatters the hell out of Donald Trump. And so Donald Trump likes that. Now, that's a flaw, but it's human, human nature. But when it comes to being made to look like an idiot, which is what the Republican Party is doing, the rhinos are doing in the Congress, he is not going to stand for it. He is not going to continue to deal with these individuals who make him look like a fool. There is going to be a time in which he snaps, in which he says, enough is enough. I'm going to campaign against these people. He's already doing it to Jeff Flake. He's already bashing McC- uh, Collins. He's already bashing McCain. He is not going to stand for Mitch McConnell to be up there kissing his ass. But when he goes to his office doing nothing on behalf of this president, Mitch McConnell, you and your rhino constituents in the, in the uh, Senate, your rhino uh, cohort in the Senate, your rhino cohort in the, uh, in the House, you promised to repeal to Obamacare, to repeal regulation, to lower taxes, to build a wall, to do m- domestic manufacturing. And by God, if you don't do it, the American people out there are going to vote your ass out. If your biggest consideration, sir, is keeping your job and keeping those Senate seats warm with your big fat flat behind, then you better do what you promised to do. I would have liked it if you actually cared about your promises, but I know that's too much of, uh, to ask me, undignified, lying scumbag like you. So at least, sir, at least try to help this president to get his agenda passed so you can keep your all-important job, not to mention your Obamacare exemption that you're so proud of. I'll be right back for hour number two. We're going to talk about something else. I'll be right back. Jim with you. Somebody who knows what he is doing. Somebody who has good, solid ideology. Somebody who can talk on the radio, who knows his stuff. And, you know, God smiled on us because he brought us Jim Lockwood, your guide dog, Ollie, because you are billed as the blind who fights the blind. You're the only blind constitutional conservative on the radio. Jim Lockwood, Jim. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to get a uh, audio for the uh, hour number two. By the way, you can call in 844-JIM-1776. Come on, stop being a butthole. I don't know why my computer is getting slower and s- slower. Here we go. Here we go. Copy and replace. There we go. Good. Now that'll queue up. I don't know why my hearing aid batteries are dying, too. You can call in if show uh, 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. Uh, 844-JIM-1776. Let me make sure the uh, call-in system's working because uh, at times it does not. Here we go. Four minutes. Four minutes. Pound. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. The call-in system is now working. 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. You know, I haven't gotten any um, hateful messages. Well, actually, I can't say that. I have. In my email, I got a lot of hateful emails about my 9 millimeter handgun while being a uh, blind individual. I'll read those, too, uh, during the... Uh, Maybe I'll have to get that audio, too, ready during the uh, next hour. There, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. But, I mean, I haven't gotten any um, people actually calling in uh, angry about it, which I'm actually very surprised about, actually. Here we go. Three. Uh, it's a WMA minutes. file. MP3 file. There we go. That's great. I try to have uh, audio during, like, a uh, music or something playing during this uh, 
during this uh, the intermission between hours. But the last time I did that, Facebook uh, shut it down as a pre-recorded content. So um, that's why I don't have. Um, I don't know how Chris X get away gets away with it. it must be the level of his uh, audio or something. But um, hello to you uh, on Periscope out there. Share the video, by the way. Share, 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 share. But uh, Periscope is uh, pretty cool. We have 15 followers, not much, but it's only because we've uh, we have uh, we just started on uh, Periscope. Let's see. I'm reading some of the comments on here. Two minutes. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Johnny Roark. Johnny, your your handwriting's not too good. I got a letter from John. <laughs> My wife looked at the letter. Who the hell is this? But uh, I I know why it's not good, Johnny. I'm just I'm just teasing you. Um, Johnny uh, sent us a uh, check, which I really do really do appreciate, um, to f to pay our um, phone bill for the next uh, month, the uh, show phone bill. Um, so I really do appreciate that. You can become a patron if you wish uh, on Patreon.com. We have different amounts on there, but you can contribute whatever you want. One dollar if you want. But um, because we don't have the commercials we have. Let's see. The commercials we have, the uh, Michigan one is not a paid commercial. Uh, the uh, weight Nuts. loss one is a paid commercial, but it's not very much. Uh, the My Pillow is upon request only, so if you don't purchase anything, we don't get paid. And so for the Stealth Furniture and the um, uh, Amos Born Trigger, he's a, a paid commercial spot. I'd advertise his stuff even if he wasn't. Um, so with Bill Muckler, he's a, a great guy. And a great book, too. I want people to buy that book. It needs to that book seriously needs to be bought by everyone in the Congress. But uh they probably wouldn't even read it anyways. Thirty seconds. Yeah. So uh, Bill Bill, what you should have titled your book How to Win Elections. Then then all the congressmen would buy it. Yeah. The, the uh book I'm uh, talking about. Yeah. Bill if you uh seconds you sometimes watch the show. Bill if you would have named the book How Do I Keep seconds. My Job as a Congressman Every congressman would buy your book, Bill. You named it Five, wrong. Four, three, <laughs> two. Here we go. One. Jim I want to tell you about this book uh, by Bill Muckler, 2020, A Clear Vision for America. This guy wrote a great book. It had great characters in it. It goes through a story of friends who try to solve the problems of America. They all get together and they write a plan for dealing with everything from uh, incarceration to uh, nonviolent offenders not being able to get jobs after they've served their time to society, to national debt, to the border control, of Social Security. I'm telling you, people in Congress need to buy this book. Kindle, iBooks, a 2020, AmericaBook.com. Somebody who knows what he is doing. Somebody who has good, solid ideology. Somebody who can talk on the radio, who knows his stuff. And, you know, God smiled on us because... He brought us Jim Lockwood, your guide dog, Ollie, because you are billed as the blind who fights the blind. You're the only blind constitutional conservative on the radio. He's blind, but unlike most, he, he can see what's going on in Washington. The Jim Lockwood Show, where the blind fight the blind. Hour number two. I am Jim Lockwood. You can call in live to the show, 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. Uh, John Kasich, for, uh, some, for some reason, uh, believes that we care what he had to say. This is what he said. Quote, and, and by the way, I don't play the audio of John Kasich anymore because he's such a whining little piece of you-know-what. Quote, well, you know, when I come to think about, when I think to come, John Kasich from Ohio. The governor. 
when I come to think about my time in office, I know that I could have a lot to offer the American people. I come to think about the divisiveness in our society. We are very divided. We are very against one another. We need to come together. Oh, kumbaya, kumbaya, kumbaya. Come together. Let's all get along. This guy, John Kasich, he comes across as Mr. Rogers, as I call him. He at the most thin-skinned, nasty SOB you've ever met in your life. I'll read you some quotes uh, that, uh, that he has said as governor when he wasn't trying to uh, run for office. But he said, quote, and when I consider 2020, because he was asked, hey, were you running 2020? I don't know why the host wanted to ask that. What the hell difference does it make? No one cares. Quote, well, I don't know, Chris. Chris Wallace. I don't know, Chris. I don't know. I mean, it comes to, I don't know. You know, it, well, I'm kind of happy pushing my idea to unify America. Blah, 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 blah. Then he says, but my wife wishes I was president. Oh, yeah, I bet she does, because then she'd get to buy new China on the people dime. Ooh, did I criticize your wife, Johnny? Johnny Kasich? I'm sorry. I, pull a, I just pulled a card out of the establishment book. Attacking Cruz's wife, attacking Trump's wife. Telling, uh, telling us that Trump has a sexual desire for his daughter. Remember that one? Oh, yes, yes, that was uh, from the right, too. From the quote-unquote right or as I call them, the uh, left, only with a different name, Republicans. Yeah. All those allegations were made by Republicans. Yeah. We got to be united, John Kasich says. Yes, united. For what? I get, for you? Are you out of your mind? John, John, no one likes you. No one likes you, John. No one in Ohio likes you. No one on the... G- and and by, by the way... The, the reason why John won last time as governor, because the Democratic Party pulled all funding out from their candidate. Their candidate was actually uh, essentially charged with drinking and driving. But it's not hard, Johnny, when you run against a criminal. Not hard to win. Whoa, Johnny Kasich won the election. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah, what a great win, Johnny. Johnny Kasich, you fool. Just, just so public record, uh, for, for the fact of uh, hashtag real news, Mr. Rogers, a.k.a. John Kasich, is not a nice guy. This is some of the comments he's made at a town hall meeting, quote, about Obamacare, quote, I don't know about you, lady, but I'm, I, am for, I am not going to be denied when I girl, go to the pearly gates, but you can make your own decision, essentially saying a woman who uh, does not like Obamacare is going to burn in hell. Isn't that nice? Oh, we got more of it th- uh, than uh, that. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Turn down your radio. Three, two, one. Good for you. Learn how to call a radio show next time. 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. This is what uh, John, John Kasich also said. Quote, uh, to an oil company. Quote, if you oppose my bill, I don't even know a bill. I think it was a tax bill. If you oppose my bill, I will use the power of my office to destroy you. Really? To a private company? Nice. Very nice. Doesn't sound as nice as he was in the election, does it? In the primaries. No, it doesn't. Quote, to a lobbyist. I am sick and tired of you SOBs. And he didn't say SOBs. I'm sick and, I'm sick and tired of you GD, God, you know what. SOBs all uh, written, all uh, actually said out loud, not just the initials. You people, the scourge of our society, I'm sick of you. If you oppose my tax bill, another, another opponent of a tax bill. If you oppose my tax bill, I will make sure and your name will be written all over the paper at the scoundrel of the state. Isn't that nice? Threatening individual lobbyists, threatening uh, private corporations. John Kasich is such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. Yeah. But, and look, when you have a a person, when you have a person like John Kasich, not tell you exactly who they are. Not come out and admit. Admit who they are. That's a dangerous person. If you're not willing to be yourself, if you're not willing to uh, actually be honest with the voters, then I don't know how anyone should vote for you. 
if you don't have enough respect for the voters to actually uh, present yourself in a way that's not a lie, then you don't deserve to be in office. You don't deserve to be in office. Period. You just don't deserve it. And I don't know why my audio thing is playing here. Uh, in any case, yeah, go away. 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. My, uh, my Windows is having a, com- a complete uh, nervous breakdown. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, this is Bill Muckler calling. Hey, Bill, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, I listen to your show all the time, and I just never call in. But I had to call in when you talked about uh, the name, the title of my book, and I thought, why didn't you tell me that two or three yeah. years ago? Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, Bill, you, you ought to have titled your book at the 2020 A Clear Vision for America. You ought to have titled your book How a Loser Can Keep a Job. That would have been a popular one among uh, congressional members or um, – how I keep my fat ass warming my Senate chair. I bet uh, Mitch McConnell would pick that one up in the airport. Uh, or how to do nothing and uh, make $175,000 with a $17,000 insurance policy on the people's dime. That would have been a great book. I'm telling you, you would have had a, at least 100 people buy it in the Senate. And it, and it would have been bipartisan, too. Uh, they would have been supported by Democrats and Republicans. I'm telling you. So, but um, uh, I watched um, Donald Trump's um, uh, press uh, Mm-hmm. This afternoon uh, with uh, McConnell, mm-hmm. and McConnell just looked like he was a lost guy. And a couple of times it looked like he wanted to say something, but Trump uh, wouldn't let him talk. Mm-hmm. So I, when when uh, we talk about my book and the title, here's another thing I did that uh, mm-hmm. I had uh, some friends edit it for me, and they really did a great job. And one of the comments that one of the guys said was. Chapter one should be on term limits, mm-hmm. and I had term limits way down as one of the later chapters, and he kept yep. saying, do term limits number one, <laughs> chapter number one. Everybody will buy the book because they want to get rid of all these guys. Yeah, <laughs> we have to have term limits in office. Uh, the Founding Fathers never intended for people to become rich and get rich off of uh, public service. I mean, how long? I don't know how long she'd been in there, but at least for 20 years, Susan Collins. That lady at the oldest bag of you know what in the in the Senate I've ever heard. Of. Why not? Because she's not the oldest, but she's the dumbest. Uh, maybe even she's not even the dumbest. I mean, uh, the uh, the IQ level is pretty low in that uh, in that group of people. But I'm so sick and tired of people that are in office, and you can't tell me why they are running. What what other than to run for office and get a paycheck? That's the only reason. And even when Mitch McConnell talks about. Why? Why do you vote? Why can't we have Bannon start a war with the GOP? Because we need to get elected, don't you know? He can't say because it's going to hurt our agenda, because it's going to prevent us from getting our uh, health care plan done or our tax reform done. No, it's just because we want to make sure and uh, be in office. That's the only reason, and that's pretty damn they, shameful. Uh, they certainly come out of it, and and when they do finally leave, they they come out very well. Uh, million dollar homes. Uh, uh, million dollar plus uh, mm-hmm. savings accounts and investment accounts. How do mm-hmm. they make all that money on one hundred seventy five thousand a year? Uh, they they must well, be great savers. Well, if it, well, yeah, right. They have good investments, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? No, it, well, it, 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 it's how I do it. Uh, they they have a wealthy spouses who essentially get kickbacks, uh, or they get kick, uh, kickbacks of themselves. Or if you're uh, Bernie Sanders, you rip off a. Uh, a uh, private uh, university and commit fraud when the university gets um, a loan. That's what uh, she did. Now, if any of us did that, we'd be in j- we'd be in jail tomorrow. I mean, we wouldn't even uh, take uh, any time for the uh, grand jury to indict us. But when it's uh, Bernie Sanders' wife, well, you know, I, I, where's that FBI investigation? I even I haven't even heard anything about that recently. I think it died a slow death of uh, Jane uh, Sanders course, or whatever her uh, name was. Is. She's not the dead ones, yet. The ones on that side of the aisle always die a quick death. Uh, yeah. There's, there's another thing that comes across, and, and I believe you mentioned it too, is mm-hmm. uh, some of these like Susan Collins, et cetera, are known mm-hmm. as rhinos, Republicans in name, in name only. only. Mm-hmm. But when I write all my articles, I talk about rhinos. I, talk, I spell it like the animal, R-H-I-N-O. 
mm-hmm. meaning the really hypocritical, incompetent, meddlesome organization. Yeah, there you because go. Because that really fits them more than anything mm-hmm. else, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. No, it does. It absolutely does. <laughs> it it absolutely yeah. does. So. And, and the and for the Republicans, uh, they are the GOATs, the goats, the goofy Obama adoration team. Well, there you go. There you go. I like it. That's good. I didn't hear. I didn't read that in your book. I have to. Uh, I search for that. But um, no, uh, yeah. no. Those those are in those are uh, characters in my uh, in my articles. I, mm, okay. I didn't I didn't create them until after I published the book. Okay. Yeah. Well, they can get your book at uh, Kindle iBooks in twenty twenty America Book dot com. Correct. It's correct, and uh, by going to my web page, this is what I really like. I really like to sign the books. You know, I, every author I talk to, mm-hmm. we love to sign the books because we know we're not going to make any money out of it. But if somebody will read them and get the message and, mm-hmm. and we can sign them, we're mm-hmm. happy guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, Bill Muckler, we sign your book. Go to 2020americabook.com and pick up his book that we advertise in the show, 2020, A Clear Vision for America. We're going to have you on the show talk more about the book later on this month, Bill. I really appreciate Absolutely. you calling in, buddy. Thanks, Jim. Thank you very much. 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. During the break, I want to queue up this audio. Uh, the Democrats are essentially talking about regulating the Internet. I did not put this in the description of the uh, video tonight uh, or the title on YouTube, but this scares the hell out of me. I've joked about regulating Facebook before, but... This stuff they're talking about on Morning Joe, we're going to play it for you when we return. It's going to affect all of us. You see, they cannot stand the fact that we have mediums like Periscope and Facebook and YouTube that they can't control. And they're going to try to regulate that too. Out of existence, nevertheless. I'll be right back in three minutes. Jim Lockwood. I want to tell you about MyPillow.com. MyPillow.com has great products. You know, I often hear of Gallagher and Medved. And, well, I don't listen to Medved. Who does? No offense, but who does? Uh, I, I hear enough Never Trump on CNN and MSNBC. I don't listen, need to listen to it on the radio. No offense. I'm sure Michael's a great guy. Just no one I listen to. Uh, but I hear uh, Gallagher and all the people uh, advertise on uh, MyPillow, but I, n- I never hear them talk about the uh, dog beds. The dog beds they have, uh, you can get 50% off. A 10-year warranty, the same warranty you have on your pillow, you can have in your dog bed. At MyPillow.com, promo code Lockwood for 50% off. A dog beds are essentially a big MyPillow the size of a dog bed. It's like this big. It's huge. We have a 75-pound dog. That's my guide dog, and he loves it. You can't get him off of there. You have to use a grenade under his butt to get him off. 10-year warranty. Money back guarantee within 60 days if you don't like it, but I don't know why you wouldn't like it. MyPillow.com, promo code Lockwood for one of the dog beds. Jim Lockwood Show. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers, and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2833. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2833. 1-800-514-2833. Ah, crap, I have a computer problem. Hi, I'm Jim Lockwood. Jim Lockwood Show. Have you ever heard yourself say those words? I'm sure we all have. Well... When it comes to me, I never have to say those words ever again. And that's because of one company, Michiana IT Services. That's Michiana, as in Michigan and Indiana. M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A, ITServices.com. They offer computer assistance and consulting nationwide. Michiana IT Services can help you, whether you're an individual, large corporation, small business, sole proprietorship, whether it is setting up a network, hosting a website, designing a website, or simply learning how to use your computer. 
Michiana IT Services can help you with your computer problems. That's Michiana, M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A, ITServices.com. Michiana IT Services.com. Michiana IT Services.com. Problem solved. Jim is tweeting day and night. Follow him on Twitter at Jim Lockwood Show. Call Jim now. Toll free 844 Jim 1776. 844 Jim 1776. Oh, put the safety on. That's not good. Try to get that off. There you go. <laughs> 844-JIM-1776. 844-JIM-1776. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Johnny Jim. How are you doing this Hey, afternoon? Johnny, how are you? I don't even remember what the hell your uh, audio is. Maybe this is it. There it is. All right. How you doing tonight, John? Oh, I'm doing good. You know what would make that press conference more interesting today? Hmm. If, I, if uh, uh, Trump would add a pair of gloves on, you know? <laughs> Read and, and punch him in the nose? And he pulled off and just slapped old Mc, uh, <laughs> Mc yeah. butthole in the head there. And, yeah. And said, on guard, you know what I mean? I just love that. That would be yeah. great, you know? Well, I, I tell you, if if uh, McConnell believes that somehow Trump is uh, going to be easy on him if he just continues what he's doing, I, I think that he's getting leverage against McConnell. And if he does, by God, if McConnell does not get his agenda passed, there's going to be hell to pay. There's one thing Donald Trump does not like, and that being look like an idiot. And, you know, according to the media, when things don't get passed, Trump looks like an idiot. And it, I think well, it you really know, ticks him off. Well, you know, every 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 other year or so, you mm-hmm. know, every one of them congressmen, you know, that that's what we're going to have to do. All of us Americans, we're going to have to get up, and we're going to have to primary all these damn rhinos. We do. Because every two years, they all come up for election in the mm-hmm. House. In the House, yep. I, I'm, well, I mean, he's a, I, I realize he's in the Senate, but all these other mm-hmm. idiots in the uh, uh, Congress, I mean, uh, of the House well, of Representatives. Well, and, and, and you're right, Johnny, because if they, if the senators start seeing their colleagues voted out, uh, you know, the, the, the two years ago, then four years ago, they're going to be scared. They're going to start changing their actions, as you heard him say. Their most important idea is to keep power. Well, if that's if that's how the, the uh, you know, low the the if that's all they care about, which is fine, then that's an easy way to have leverage against them. They they pay very close attention to their fellow colle- colleagues having their asses uh, do, booted out of office. So, well, well you know, M- McDonald had his ass handed to him the other day whenever uh, mm-hmm. uh, Moore won that election. You know, I mean, he, yeah, they they he spent his- they spent thirty two million do- over thirty two million dollars against him against a fellow Republican. Look, I, I understand having a situation in which. You know, I'm a candidate against this guy who's a Republican, and I'm a Republican. And I go out and I get donations. That's fine. But I don't think the GOP establishment, and this is money coming from a, a, a super PAC from McConnell, I don't think in any election against any Republican, a super PAC run or is established by Mitch McConnell or any Republican in D.C. should be actively going into a state trying to bankroll one candidate in favor of another. I don't believe in that. That's wrong. Stay the hell out of it. it Let the people to, of Alabama decide. Uh, you know, it ought to stay within the state. You know, that's no exactly right. Foreign money from another state should be put off in, into an mm-hmm. uh, election unless it come out of that state itself. You know, that's exactly they, right. They change up some of these rules. And yeah. uh, and uh, also, uh, I've got another bone to pick uh, today. Not with you, but with ESPN. Mm-hmm. Now they done got a pair, and uh, now they will not. Uh, air the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, I know they won't. They won't air the uh, players sitting there uh, uh, kneeling to it, right? They won't. They won't show it. Yeah, they won't show it. The the only problem is Johnny. These people are stuck in the past, and it pisses them off. Everyone has little thing called iPhones and Androids, and there's a little thing on them called a camera. So everyone's sitting there videotaping it, putting it on YouTube, tweeting about it. So they don't have to sit there and uh, videotape it. On, on their uh, on their actual uh, news station because they're trying to run interference for the NFL because the NFL is losing a lot of money, tons, 
million, tens of millions of dollars they're losing. And, 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 and you know this is true, not because Republicans on air say it, but because you know, ESPN suddenly is not showing it, as you said, and NBC is suddenly not showing it. Because they're trying to save their rear ends. Uh, they want people to keep watching the show and uh, for their commercials. And, and, and I, well, I, 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 think they're, I think they're getting a lot of uh, pressure from uh, advertisers as well. Because I'm telling you, if I was watching a game, I'm not a big NFL guy uh, anyway, but I'm a big, you know, I, I like college football. But if I saw my college team, Notre Dame, or any, you know, I love Notre Dame. I went there. We, we suck, of course. Uh, we're going to go to the toilet bowl this year. Uh, we're usually where we go. Uh, well, well, one year we went to the pinstripe bowl. Well, what what the hell is a pinstripe bowl? Pinstripe bowl? Oh, you talking about, oh, you, you're talking about Penn State? No, yeah. no, no. I'm talking about Notre Dame. One year we went to the Pinstripe oh. Bowl. It was a, it was in, Hol- in in Hawaii, and it was called the Pinstripe Bowl. And I was like, oh, what? Well, pinstripe I thought, Bowl? I thought you were talking about Penn State. You know? No, I thought. They, they, they. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pinstripe. You know I mean, what's next? The flannel bowl? I mean, yeah. It, come on. So, um, so every year we go to the toilet bowl. That's what our uh, bowl game is. But um, it, but I, it, uh, my point is, if I was watching Notre Dame and I saw the players kneel, I would turn that off in a hot minute. And that's why I think the sponsors are actually giving the uh, stations hell to say, do not show that, not only because the, the stations want to hide the fact that the players are doing it, but the sponsors are losing a lot of money because people are turning it off. Well, you know, you know, uh, ESPN and ABC and Disney's all the same bunch of mm-hmm. people, you know, mm-hmm. and, and they're all, and, uh, and, uh, the all owned by the, uh, yeah. We, Disney is a, uh, I mean they 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 have got to where, they have got stuff on TV now that Disney is, that I would I I would let my children watch. It's just mm-hmm. filth and garbage is what they've got on their TV show now on Disney. Really? And I'm have to check out the out Disney Channel. Nice. The audience, <laughs> y'all need to pay attention to what your children are watching. Yeah. Because it is pure filth what they got out there. Disney does. Really. I'm going to have to check out the Disney Channel. I don't have kids, so I can joke about it. So uh, when I have kids, I'll have to worry about that. But until then, maybe I'll have to watch some uh, some uh, nasty stuff in the Disney Channel. No, I, I know what you mean. It's, it's very really sexualizing our kids and stuff, Johnny. I, I completely agree with you. Thank you very much for calling in, my friend. You're a great friend, and uh, thank you very much for your support of the show, my friend. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Being there for us, Jim. Yep. Thank you very much. Have a great and, and evening. And I'm glad you can use oh, yeah. that money for some good use there. That's I can. Thank you very man. much. Thank you very much, Johnny. Uh-huh. I'll be right back after these three-minute messages with some audio from libturds who wish to now regulate the Internet. This is no really no joking matter. Uh, we talked about regulating Facebook before, but um, now they really want to do it. And it's getting really scary because well, I'll tell you the implication when I return. As a lawyer, it scares the hell out of me. I'll be right back. Call into the show, 844-JIM-1776. I want to tell you about StealthFurniture.com. StealthFurniture.com has really cool products. They got furniture that has lock boxes within the furniture. And so you can keep your weapons or your bullets uh, or uh, your jewelry uh, or your mistress's phone number. No one has a mistress. I don't either. I love my wife, but it's just a joke. Uh, but you can keep a <laughs> mistress's phone number. That wasn't certified by the sponsor. Um, just joking. Uh, but you can keep all your um, your secret uh, and, your, and your valuable items within the lock boxes. They got sofas and chairs and end tables, really cool stuff. And you can't tell that there's a lock box there unless you actually you know, know there is one. And so if someone breaks into your house, you can't be robbed blind. They're not going to steal your uh, your valuables. My mom used to keep her jewelry in the uh, in her, the toes of her boots. And I used to say, you better you better make sure Sheila Joe Jackson doesn't rob your house. Put your stuff in a lockbox. StealthFurniture.com, promo code Lockwood. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. 
All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement. It's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2833. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2833. 1-800-514-2833. Remember that place that was a best kept secret growing up? The local swimming hole? Or that diner where everything always seemed right in the world? Well, one of Michigan's best kept secrets can be found on the west central side of the state. A little piece of heaven called Big Rapids. A secret treasure trove of outdoor passions where we can be out on the water all morning long. From dozens of lakes to the Big Muskegon River. Trying our luck with the trout and the walleye or just floating along where the current takes us. Where we can hike and ride over rolling hills and along white pine trails. Lose ourselves in the music, art, and charm of small towns. And where we don't just meet new people, we meet new friends. Let's put time temporarily on hold. And take a short drive to Big Rapids. Until now, a best kept secret that's pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan like what you've heard so far? Learn, learn more about Jim by going to his website, jimlockwoodshow.com. This is the Jim Lockwood Show, where our only political affiliation is to the Constitution. Call now. <laughs> I just can't get over this. Hillary Clinton sprains her ankle while at a book signing event. As she were leaving the event, she sprained her ankle while walking down the stairs. <laughs> Seriously, Hillary, I am blind. My my visual acuity is uh, 20, 21 million. Meaning, uh, well, you can see at a million feet, I have to be within 20 feet to see. Essentially, uh, none, zero. My, I have no vision. I'm blind as a bat. I'm, I'm Helen Keller with hearing. I'm Stevie Wonder with a bad voice. I'm the white Stevie Wonder without a singing career. So I'm just saying. But by the way, anyone who thinks the Bushes are uh, intelligent, uh, anyone who thinks the Bushes are intelligent, uh, just know that uh, George W. Bush waved to Stevie Wonder. Not the smartest guy George W. Bush was. Just saying. But I don't injure myself as much as uh, Hillary Clinton does. What is wrong with her? She's so fragile. I mean, she was coughing during the primaries and wheezing and had pneumonia, allegedly. Uh, oh, you know, she fainted. Now she's spraining ankles. What's wrong with her? And she, want, she wanted to be the leader of the free world? Give me a break. I mean, at least JFK had a, had a reason for it. He had Addison's disease. And he didn't get as injured as much as uh, Hillary. Unbelievable. What a disaster she is. Uh, this is, uh, if this audio will work, this is, uh, let me make sure this uh, works. Now with the social media Okay, platforms. so a lot's been made about social media platforms. The social media platforms, how they influenced the election. The Russians, the Russians paid $100,000 for advertisements. So? So? So what? Did any of you vote for Trump because of what you saw on a social media website? I'm sorry to tell you, Hillary. People didn't like you, Hillary. People hated you, Hillary. Period. I don't care if Facebook would have gone out of business. It doesn't matter. I still wouldn't have voted for you, Hillary. Stop blaming Facebook. No, I, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Facebook. Believe me, I'm not. We broadcast on Facebook. But Facebook targets conservatives. YouTube targets conservatives, although not as bad as Facebook. Facebook is really bad at it. Uh, Periscope doesn't target anyone, it doesn't seem like, which is good. But now we're now on all three. So if we can't be on Facebook one night, we're on Periscope or YouTube. We're there. Unless I'm sick or something, or I get shot or something. You know, unless something happens. I'm always here, 6 a.m. Uh, 6, 6 p.m. to uh, 8 p.m. Unless we change our time, which I don't see us doing anytime soon. But, you know, in any case, uh, the, uh, the narrative that Russia changed our election, Russian had our influence in social media, you know, 
in some sense, it's just an excuse in order to uh, blame the election on something other than the horrible uh, nature of their candidate, the Democrats' candidate. But in another nature, it's actually very, very serious because they wish to regulate the Internet. In fact, as Morning Joe show uh, morons uh, say, it's worse it's the worst threat to North Korea. Now with these social media platforms. Mm. Oh the, this is the biggest threat oh to my our God. democracy. You hear him in the yeah. background. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so horrible. Yes, it is. Repeat that clip, please. Now with these social media platforms. Mm. Mm. This is oh the my biggest God. threat to our democracy that we have, right? We should take this as seriously as the, as the, as the Korean nuclear threat. The fact that right now... What? Facebook. and It's worse than the North Korean threat? We got a madman over there. Spilled my water on myself. It's so ridiculous. I know he was going to say it, but it's so outrageous that I have to react to it. I spilled water on myself. It's a worst threat to North Korea. We got a madman over there. A madman who's developing ballistic ICBM nuclear missiles. Nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. In fact, the leader of North Korea, through his uh, spokes idiot today, whatever inbred he chose that he hasn't killed yet, said, quote, we are not interested. They don't have a Middle Eastern accent, but that's the only accent I can do. I cannot do an Asian or a Russian accent or a Latino accent. So bear with me. Maybe he has an uh, Islamist as his uh, spokesperson. Who knows? Quote, we are not interested in the peace with the infidels in the United States. Instead, we are going to develop our defensive and offensive ballistic nuclear ICBMs. Only when North Korea has the ability to attack the eastern seaboard, oh, the eastern seaboard, with intercontinental ballistic ICBM nuclear missiles, will we be open to negotiations. Really? So they're, so it's, a, uh, it's essentially a hostage situation with North Korea. Yeah. So that... Keep that in mind as you hear one more time the uh, morons of Morning Joe, and I'll keep my mouth shut. Now with these social media platforms. Mm. Oh my God. This is oh my the God. biggest threat to our democracy that we have, right? We should take this as seriously as the, as the, as the Korean nuclear threat. <laughs> the fact that right now Facebook and Ooh. others basically mm. have mm. the pipes to communicate to the world mm. a thousandfold that a thousand the networks fold. have and are completely un. Regulated. By the way, by the way, the only reason Facebook has the ability to get information out is because you use it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Facebook. I don't like Mark Zuckerberg. I think Facebook is very, and we know it by the evidence and by what their employees say, but it's very, very slanted toward the left. Very much so. But by God, it is a, it is a private corporation. And they are allowed, as much as I despise the way they choose to censor certain content. They are allowed to have whatever content they want on their website. This is their website, their platform. It is their private property. It is their servers. It's their technology. It's their social media website. It is theirs. It's not owned by the government. They're not using uh, the uh, terrestrial uh, F F uh, FCC uh, communication uh, frequencies. They're not on uh, uh, terrestrial uh, TV stations. They're not on cable news stations. They're using the Internet, the same pipeline that we use to transmit our show to TuneIn Radio, the same pipeline we use, the same infrastructure we use to have our website, jimlockwoodshow.com, the same infrastructure we use to Internet servers to have our podcast on SoundCloud and Spreaker. We're everywhere, in Periscope. And they want to regulate it. They have too much power. They only have power because people are turning you off, mainstream media, and going elsewhere to shows like mine. It's frightening. We you want to know about the definition of fake news? That, it's think, unregulated. Oh. By the way, I've been dealing with fake news personally mm -hmm. for a very long time. Yes, uh, there, you have. There have been heinous yes, stories have. that have been written about me. Yes, I actually you went have. to Google after a while. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I could cure cancer. It would never be. In your suggested search. Joe, Joe Screwball Scarborough, you're not smart enough to know what cancer is. It would never be anywhere up there because you guys mm -hmm. keep, I think, oh, no, 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 wait, that's not. A mm -hmm. We're just a, just, I said, no. Listen how angry this man is. 
Now, he, keep in mind, Joe Scarborough makes $99,000 a week. That was his former contract. Know how much he makes now? $150,000 a week. What, what $150,000 a week? I don't make that in a year. $150,000 a week. That means what? His sh- he makes... Um, he makes what? Uh, what two twenty five thousand a show. Twenty five thousand dollars a show. Not bad <laughs> for that show. It's not worth twenty five dollars. Morning Joe. Nevertheless, twenty five thousand. You publish it. You're a publisher, and mm. you're starting to get sued in Europe. You're mm-hmm. starting. I, I, I'm so- by by the way, the reason Facebook is getting sued in Europe is because they don't believe in freedom in Europe. They do not believe in the free market in Europe. They do not have a First Amendment in Europe. I'm going to tell you, folks, if they can regulate what good old Facebook can publish on its website and what they can't publish, then there's nothing stopping them from regulating your website, my website, our podcast episodes, our videos, your YouTube videos, Mark Dice's YouTube videos. You know, Mark Mark Dice complains about demonetization. Mark, you have no idea what's coming. No idea what's coming, my friend. It's coming. And it's going to be bad. The right Tired of Google and Facebook Good and guys. Twitter. Good Listen guys. to Acting this. like they're living in another world, in another dimension, and that somehow all the law- laws that bind all of us together, but Joe, they're all the utopia. norms they that, 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 that bind everybody together, angry he is. don't apply to them. They're no better than Donald Trump in that belief that the standards what? that apply to the rest of us do not apply to them. I will say it again. You do it. Over 50% of Americans get their news from Facebook as a primary source. So what? If Walter Cronkite... I'm going to bang on my table, and it'll make a better emphasis. Over 50% of the people get their news from Facebook. I'll say it again. No one cares. So what? If you were worth watching, Joe, people would watch you, Joe. So what if 50% of the people are getting their news from Facebook? You know what you need to do, Joe? You need to stream live on Facebook. Now then we'd know what your real numbers are, wouldn't we, Joe? Okay, get over 50% of the mm-hmm. news viewers uh, back, at, back <laughs> in <laughs> the, the 1970s. If more than mm-hmm. 50%, 50%. Uh, 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 of people that get uh, their news uh, get uh, it from uh, Walter uh, Cronkite and CBS Evening News, and he allowed mm-hmm. Russians to come mm-hmm. on him to his show and spout Soviet propaganda, the about? government would rightly step in and mm-hmm. regulate him. If he, By the if way, he, the if, reason why they would regulate Walter Cronkite, dummy, is because he had terrestrial TV stations he was on. They can regulate terrestrial radio and ter- terrestrial TV stations. And for those of you not in the industry, that means uh, stuff you can get with antennas. Every day, pass false information out there, knowingly, objectively false information Mm -hmm. that you could get judicial notice from any court in the land was false. This is not Donald Trump false. So what? Objectively false. Objectively false. The government would step in. Mm. At what point do we step in and say, we're not going to allow the Russians, we're not going to allow the Chinese, we're not going to allow the Iranians, we're not going to allow the North Koreans Mm -hmm. to continue to corrupt our democracy while people in Silicon Valley go, right? we're just above this. You can't, you can't, this is He loses his mind, Joe Screwball. We've reached that point. It's about freedom. You're right, it's about freedom. It's about freedom, Joe. It's about the freedom to maintain the, uh, essentially, the freedom of the Internet. I'm telling you, folks, this has nothing, this narrative about how Russians use social media, Russia use Twitter. Right? And, you know, it, it had nothing to do with North Korea. What, North Korea is now using our social media, too? That's what he said. This is about Russia and North Korea. I didn't know North Korea was purchasing uh, Internet advertisements on, on social media. That's what you just heard him say. Isn't that amazing? North Korea, they're purchasing Internet advertisements on Facebook. I never knew that. Considering they they can't even access Facebook, I don't know what the hell their propaganda is going to say. Considering they're admitting we have nuclear weapons, we're developing nuclear weapons, we're going to bomb you. What are their advertisements going to say? None of that's true. The argument about Russian influence, 
or North Korean influence in our elections, uh, it has nothing to do with foreign powers. It has everything to do with getting their grubby hands on Facebook and, by extension, the entire Internet so they can start regulating our, our speech and our content. I'll be right back. Jim Lockwood. That's scary stuff. It really is. Emmett Born Traeger has a great plan for financial success for you. Contact him today at globalamteam.com. That's globalamteam.com. Hear what he has to say or call him at jimlockwoodshow.com slash sponsor. jimlockwoodshow.com slash sponsor to learn more. He has a plan for financial success for you. So give him a contact, a call today. No obligation. Just hear what he has to say. You can be ex- making extra money every week by going with his, po- with his uh, plan. That is globalamteam.com, jimlockwoodshow.com slash sponsors. Amos Bornschrager is a great friend of mine, a great patriot, and a great friend of me and Jeremy and the show. Amos Bornschrager, globalamteam.com. I will be back in two minutes. Again, if you know someone who does video editing, uh, give me an uh, email, jim at jimlockwoodshow.com. Back in 120 seconds. Jim Lockwood Show. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2833. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2833. 1-800-514-2833. Remember that place that was a best-kept secret growing up? The local swimming hole? Or that diner where everything always seemed right in the world? Well, one of Michigan's best-kept secrets can be found on the west-central side of the state a little piece of heaven called Big Rapids, a secret treasure trove of outdoor passions where we can be out on the water all morning long, from dozens of lakes to the Big Muskegon River, trying our luck with the trout and the walleye, or just floating along where the current takes us, where we can hike and ride over rolling hills and along white pine trails, lose ourselves in the music, art, and charm of small towns, and where we don't just meet new people, We meet new friends. Let's put time temporarily on hold. Take a short drive to Big Rapids. Until now, a best kept secret that's pure Michigan. Your trip begins at. Like what you've heard so far? Learn Learn more about Jim by going to his website, jimlockwoodshow.com. With your fighting host, Jim Lockwood. Let's get ready to rumble! In the right corner, we have the America-loving, constitutional conservative and unbeaten Jim Lockwood. On the wrong corner, we have the desperate, anti-American snowflake cartel. Good luck. If you have not done so already, please do like our Facebook page, Facebook.com Jim Lockwood Show. It's going to give away a uh, free uh, AR-15 on there to people who like the page, a raffle. But, of course, uh, Facebook doesn't allow that. No, it doesn't allow that at all. You can't give away guns or even a gift certificate. Can't do that. No, can't do that. No, it's against our policy. But still, I uh, like the page anyways. I'm going to have a raffle on there of some sort, uh, of some way. By the way, uh, if it's audio, yeah, there we go. The uh, Democrats are very angry that I have a gun. As I said, this is a 9mm. I have a license to carry. 
I'm in the process of uh, getting a um, NRA gun trainer license. The only requirements of the N- of the NRA, I'm dead serious. The only requirements of the National Rifle Association to be gay to be a, a certified gun uh, expert and a uh, you know gun trainer is number one. You have to be able to load and fire a revolver. I can do that. You have to be able to buy a, a semi-automatic handgun. Got that. You have to be able to load. That's easy. Put the bullets there. Load. Cock. No bullets in here. Don't worry. I'm not going to blow away my camera. And fire a, a semi-automatic uh, handgun. I can do that. Doesn't say you have to be a good shot. Doesn't say that you have to uh, have vision. And if you can prove that, plus pay a fine, you can have a uh, certification to be a gun registered, NRA registered gun uh, expert. Essentially, you can go around and train people how to use guns. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. Now that I have my, have my automatic handgun, going to get my certification to be a uh, NRA uh, gun uh, expert. It's not called expert, but it's a, a gun trainer. Firearms trainer. And essentially, uh, some Democrats have seen my videos, and they are outraged by it. And so I've gotten some emails, and as we uh, do every time we play, uh, we read some uh, hate-filled emails, we uh, have our song. <sighs> I don't understand why we just can't be friends. Here we go. You've got no mail, just a bunch of crap. This is from Cindy Thompson. Why do you put your full name on there, you dummy? Cindy Thompson, I've recently watched your show. I do not believe you're blind because you have a handgun. I am blind. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, it disturbs me greatly that you have a handgun. I think that should not be allowed. You should not be able to own a gun while being blind. Well, what, what vision would you say uh, you should have in order to exercise your constitutional rights? She didn't, of course, uh, in- indicate any of that. Uh, Jim at JimLockwithShow.com got another email account by uh, Bill McClevin, whatever. McClevin. Oh, this one has his uh, work email. Bill McClevin at ATT.com. Oh, isn't that nice? Maybe you should call ATT Customer Service and ask for Bill. Bill McClevin at ATT.com <laughs> says, You are a raging a hole. I've recently watched a show and I was so disturbed I had to go to your website and find your email address and email you that I believe that you do not have a gun license, I do, and that you should not own a weapon. How can a blind man like you own a weapon? That is an outrage and example of why our gun laws need to be changed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our gun laws need to be changed because you really have a lot to worry about me, right? How many, by the way, how many massacres have been done by blind people? Only one. You know who that was? The blind shake. But of course, he was Muslim. You can't talk about him. Let's see. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Tina W. Oh, she didn't put her last name. That's smart. Tina W. I think you are the most raging, ignorant a hole ever to be on radio. Don't you understand that Trump is a tyrant? Oh, yeah, Trump's a. If Trump's a tyrant, he's a very uh, ineffective tyrant. You have no respect for the First Amendment. Actually, I do. 